today, what country's leader today called for a new financial world order? Um, I'm going to say uh, uh, Russia. Sorry, incorrect. We're going to save. Well, no, let's not save it because I don't want to be unfair to everybody. It was actually out of Bloomberg today, and it's China. Uh, China this is Bloomberg's headline right here. Uh, we'll do news while we do this. Uh, China grapples with bigger role in new world orders, Zhao says. China's policymakers gra uh, grappling with their bigger voice on, a, on the global stage have yet to agree on what they want uh, from a new world financial order, Central Bank Governor Zhao Shan said. Uh, we'll finish that up, but all right, you, you still got two more shots. These are going to be tough questions, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Are you ready for number two? Yep. All right. In Loose Change Final Cut, what is the name of the CIA veteran of over 20 years who's interviewed? Oh, um, his name was... Um, um, who's got it? Five seconds. Five seconds. Um, he was in Terror Storm. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I forget. Ray McGovern is the gentleman we were looking for. All right, hey, you still got a shot. You never know. I could be, these could be tough for everybody. Let's see if you get the last question. Now, a lot of people out there are aware that at the Bohemian Grove, there is a large owl god statue named Moloch. Or, you know, some people have said it's something else, but their logo is an owl. They have a big statue. We think it's Moloch. You know, they do the sacrifice. Recently on the program, I have covered another statue that is the size of the Moloch statue somewhere else in the Grove. Now, there are two correct answers. I'll accept one of two answers. What is that statue? Um, Man, well, I am tough. <laughs> Go ahead. What's that? Stone owl, right? It's a giant stone owl, right? Yeah, yeah, not that one. There's another giant stone object there uh, that is another deity. What is it? Oh, I'm going to say it's a uh, statue of an oak tree. <laughs> I am sorry, Jeff. Actually, it is Maitreya or Buddha. They have a large Buddha slash Maitreya. In other words, uh, a Christ figure that they believe is coming. That is the other statue, and it's only in old photographs. And I believe they're going to be covering it in the next America's Secret Beginnings uh, series. Jeff, you, you went 0 for 3. I thank you for the call. doesn't look like you're getting an e-cigarette today, my friend. All right, let's jump to Aaron in Vegas. Aaron, are you on the line, sir? Brother. All right. Well, now we went 0 for 3 on the last one. I'm hoping you're going to get at least one of these right. Are, are you ready? Are you geared up and ready to go? Yeah. All right. What is the name of the exercise that I, I just talked about on the air? I gave the acronym for it. It's going to be taking place in late July. It's the first of its kind. It's headed up by FEMA. DHS is going to be involved. And the countries of Australia, the United Kingdom, Mexico and Canada will be doing this with us in FEMA Region 6. The full name of the exercise, what is it? Uh, man, I'm not sure, but I'm, I, would, I would say false flag terror exercises. Well, although it is a terrorism exercise, it is the national level exercise 09. All right, 0 for 1. That's okay. We're going to do another movie question. Man, are we gonna just going to go 0 for 12? Or the last guy's going to get one question? We're going to give him the cigarette? All right. What police officer in Fabled Enemies discusses his friendship with FBI uh, agent John O'Neill, who died during the attacks of 9-11? What's his name? I don't you got nothing, huh? Wow, well, I got <laughs> nothing on that one. That is Bo Deedle. Bo Deedle. There is also a movie. Yeah, Bo Deedle, the man, the bo, the bo, the bo himself. <laughs> oh, who's you, you kill me. All right. All right, let's see. If we can get this last person, this or this last question. Now, in my hands, I'm holding a document. I don't want to show the front, but it's put out by a United Nations organization. And in section 1.5.1, it says, During a pandemic, it may be necessary to overrule existing legislation of individual human rights. Examples are the enforcement of quarantine, overruling individual freedom of movement, use of privately owned buildings for hospitals, off-license use of drugs, compulsory vaccinations, or implementation of emergency shifts in essential services. Now, what organization put this document out? Organization. Uh, I would 
say the World Health Organization. Boom! We got one. He's got one. Yeah! All right. Stay on the line, Aaron. You have one right. unless Stephen and if Stephen and Joseph only get one, we'll have a playoff. But right no, now, I mean, hey. If you don't win. If you don't win? I mean, if you don't win, I just want to say that, uh, I mean, talking to Jason Burmans is an honor. Oh, yeah, stop I mean, it, man. Night. All right, all right. Hold on to the thing. I, I appreciate it, but, you know, we got a game show going on here. <laughs> all right. Let's bring up Stephen in Missouri. Stephen, are you there? Oh, we're going to go to Lori? Okay. So uh, let's go to Lori is up. Lori, you're on the line. Yeah, hi. All right. All right, Lori. We got three questions for you right now. You only have to get two to be in the lead. We only have okay. one, one person who's got one. Now, okay. uh, there are going to be, and I mentioned this earlier in the show, so if you were listening, perhaps you're going to get this very easily. There are three states right now, three states right now that are running drills about terrorism today and throughout the weekend. Now, I named all three of these states. If you can, if you can name the city, I, I'll even give it to you. If you don't know the state, that's fine. If you can name the city, I'll give it to you. But the three states that these drills are going to be taking place or the cities. Go ahead. Los Angeles. Already wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, we'll, we'll go to the next one. For those not in the know, they are running drills in Flint, Michigan this weekend. They started running drills in Colorado today. And over the weekend, they're running an anti-terror drill in New York City, in the World Trade Center, and the Holland Tunnel. So we're going to go over that big time later. Let's get these other two questions out. All right, the Obama deception covers what institute Obama attended as a younger man, what institute was that? Uh, I don't know. Kissinger Institute. <laughs> Heavy ties to Henry Kissinger. That's okay. Hey, if you get this one, you can still maybe get in the playoff as long as our third person doesn't get the question. Are you ready? All right. What organization is meeting as we speak in Greece? Um, the, uh, oh, God. Bad oh. time's up, Lori. I'm sorry. We're going to have to let you go. I'm Tad Spanklerman, and it's the Bilderberg Group. I mean, how much do we have to harp on the Bilderberg Group? I mean, we've been harping on it all week, the week before that, saying it's coming up. Alex Jones had, uh, uh, who was it on today? He had uh, the man, the myth, the legend on today, Jim Tucker. I mean, uh, the, the man who won't smoke a cigarette unless it's unfiltered. See, we should get Jim one of these, uh, one of these e-cigarettes. But, uh, right now, you know, Aaron is sitting very pretty right now with one answer correctly. We're, right now, we're, yeah, we're one in nine right now, Hoosh. And I don't think I've asked that. No wonder I have a radio show. Look I mean, these cats. I know. I, I think these are basic stuff. I, well, that's because you work here now. <laughs> All right. Last person. Are we ready? Charles in California, you're ready for your chance to win an e-cigarette. You there, Charles? I'm ready. Yep. Uh, all right. All right. We got somebody who wants to win an e-cigarette. Now, yeah. Yeah. all right. The WHO declared what level of a pandemic during the swine flu crisis? What was the number of the level, level that five. they declared? What's that? Level five. Oh, he's got one already. All right. So we've got a, cha a tie. Charles, if you answer either of these two questions correctly, we're going to get your address and we're going to mail you out an e-cigarette on Monday. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, can I get it shipped to my father, though? Because he's been smoking well, for like whatever, Yeah, whatever years. you want to do, you just give him the information right, of ready. where you want to ship. I'm ready to book it. All right, you're ready. All right. Yep. Mark Dice, the author of the Resistance Manifesto, Recently put out a new publication that we're carrying here at InfoWars. What is it? Ten seconds. Um, what is it? Uh, the fact that the resistance or... Not the res I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take it away. It is actually, he did write the Resistance Manifesto. His new book is called Illuminati, Fact versus Fiction. You can get that over at, uh... Uh, Infowars.com right now. All right. You get this one, Charles. You're a winner. You don't get this one. You and Aaron are going to square off in a tie-breaking question. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. What company in February of this year got caught sending out two separate live strains of avian flu and another strain of human flu virus in their vaccinations to the Czech Republic and elsewhere? P-A-X-E-E-R. 
are. Fat That's people. correct. We've got a winner. All right. Listen, uh, if you can, Charles, simply just give the information to uh, GCN, uh, the, the operator there. He'll take down the address and the info. We'll, we'll get it over here. I'll write it down, and I will make sure that gets shipped out on Monday. Thanks for playing, my friend. Thanks for calling in. All right. Well, let's. Hey, no problem, my, my man. Let's get back to some serious news. That's fun. That was some fun stuff, and hopefully we'll be doing that more often. But I guess it shows me why I do have 